Hello guys, in this video, I will share the questions that are asked in the ServiceNow IT Leadership Professional Certificate exam by LinkedIn Learning. So let's get started. Which of the following is a key responsibility of IT leaders in stakeholder collaboration? The answer is, facilitate open and transparent communication. Question 2. You have just onboarded a new partner. Your IT leader asks you to schedule a recurring quarterly business review with the partner. What is the purpose of this business review? The answer is, to evaluate partner's performance on this project and provide feedback. Question 3. While preparing for a quarterly business review with a partner, you notice that the partner's quality score has decreased significantly since last quarter. Executives from both companies will be attending the review meeting. What should you do? The answer is, have a pre-meeting with your partner contact to discuss the low score. Question 4. What is the first step in effectively communicating technical information to non-technical audiences? The answer is, understand the information needs of the audience. Question 5. What is the purpose of the sales playbook? The answer is, it provides sales with all information they need to compete and sell the product. Question 6. Your team is approaching the end of Phase 0, and you want to ensure a successful transition to Phase 1. As the program manager, what can you do to achieve this goal? The answer is, involve the entire team in discussions about target customers and customer problem statements. Question 7. As part of managing peer reviews, you maintain a module checklist and capture relevant information. What three things should be captured in the peer review documentation? The answers are automated tests, debugging approaches, module and module ID. Question 8. Your project team is in phase, and you want to ensure that team meetings are engaging and productive. How can you create a learning environment and encourage active participation? The answer is, foster professional arguments focused on problem solving rather than personal attacks. Question 9. Your team implemented an enterprise architecture with a goal to reduce operational costs, define technical standards, and improve business processes. Employees report that this change has helped streamline their work. Which indicator of a successful enterprise architecture does this scenario represent? The answer is, alignment with specific criteria determined by the organization. Question 10. You are overseeing development of a business-level application that requires a high level of performance. Why is it important for you to put a service-level agreement in place for this project? The answer is, service-level agreements help establish business boundaries and performance expectations. Question 11. Select two reasons why you should consider breaking a large project into multiple small projects. The answers are, they require fewer resources and funding. They reduce the risk of market and customer changes. Question 12. As a program manager, you emphasize the importance of bug list management and addressing the long tail of bugs in the project's final phase. What is the significance of the long tail in bug list management? The answer is, it represents the final phase bugs that are often challenging to fix. You are a program manager dealing with compatibility requests. How can you effectively communicate the impact of compatibility expansion to stakeholders? The answer is, involve stakeholders in periodic reviews with the test and support teams. Question 14. Why is it essential for IT leaders to prioritize quality and reliability? The answer is, to align with customer expectations. Question 15. Your company has recently implemented a new enterprise architecture that has positively impacted operations. Employees have reported increased efficiency and improved collaboration. Which measure can assess the success of the enterprise architecture in this scenario? The answer is, the perceived value it provides to the organization. Question 16. What is the purpose of the product requirements document? The answer is, to define the target customer and problem statements. Question 17. 
you are working with the legal team to draft a partner contract. How can you build partner accountability in the contract? The answer is, assign tasks, dates, owners, and acceptance criteria. Question 18. Historically, IT organizations have been held to what three standards of success? The answers are, run business operations, deliver the IT projects on budget, and deliver on systems uptime commitments. Question 19. You just joined the IT team as a leader. You need to create a strategy to support growth goals of different divisions in the organization. What is the best way to get started? The answer is, meet with all division leaders to understand their growth strategy and levers. Question 20. You just joined a new company and took over a new global team. Why is it important for you to establish common understanding of the vision in your team? The answer is, to ensure that team members are working together toward the same goal. Question 21. You were assigned a new project that involves project managing new product development. Who should you work with to define the ideal customer for your product? The answer is, product manager. Question 22. You are working on a mission statement for the IT department. What should be the three key elements of the mission statement? The answers are vetted by the customers, maps to organization's mission, and memorable. Question 23. What is the best way to define customer personas and use cases? The answer is conduct customer interviews. Question 24. You are creating an enterprise solution for your company. What should you focus on to reduce complexity due to identity management? The answer is multiple directory services that exist in silos within the company. Question 25. You are recruiting an IT architect. A colleague wants to apply for this position and asks you the most important task that an IT architect performs. What will your response be? The answer is to provide leadership in the decision-making process. Question 26. As part of your disaster recovery plan, you are looking for an alternative hot site. One team member recommends exploring a cold environment region for this site. What is a possible reason for this recommendation? The answer is to emit the heat in a place where the heat may be needed. Question 27. As soon as you implement a set of new security policies for your organization, you get a flurry of questions from users on why the policies changed. Which step could have avoided this influx of questions? The answer is educating all employees on upcoming security policy changes. Question 28. Your team suggests implementing biometric authentication as part of your security plan. What is a reason for you to not use biometric authentication? The answer is, it is not accessible as it is difficult for people with physical disabilities to operate. Question 29. What are some components that might be covered in a storage policy? The answer is, storage quotas, archival storage, data backup and recovery, data security, and media disposal. Question 30. Your company is expanding rapidly and new employees have a lot of questions about internal resources. To reduce the load on the support team, you decide to use a communication method that leverages community knowledge to provide answers to commonly asked questions. Which method is the best solution? The answer is Wiki. Question 31. You created a security plan that you are ready to implement in your organization. However, when you ask for funding, the leaders are surprised and refuse to allocate budget for your plan. What could you have done in the planning process to get funding? The answer is, get stakeholder and leadership buy-in. Question 32. Which data requirement is most often overlooked when assessing data storage requirements? The answer is, security policy. Question 33. As part of the disaster recovery plan that you are working on, your CTO recommends building an alternative site. What is the reason for CTO's recommendation? The answer is, to prepare for complete destruction of the primary site. Question 34. You are creating a general acceptance criteria for the technological solutions. What three criteria will you add to the acceptability list for your enterprise? The answers are, supports business processes, 
performs efficiently, and meets requirements. Question 35. Your team just created a disaster recovery plan. You now ask each team member to test out the plan individually for different scenarios. Why is testing so important? The answer is, to ensure the plan works effectively as designed. Question 36. What is the purpose of conducting a storage survey for data management? The answer is, to determine storage requirements. Question 37. Now that your company has multiple complex business lines, you need to hire an architect for high-level application design and development. What job title should you use for this role so that recruiters target the right candidates? The answer is Chief Architect. Question 38. You are evaluating one of your IT leads for a potential manager opportunity. Which two criteria will you consider? The answer is ability to motivate and business acumen. Question 39. You are looking to an internal candidate for your open business information officer role. Which two approaches should you take? The answers are identify business savvy technologists within the IT team and prioritize individuals who are top performers in their current roles. Question 40. You recently joined a company and have a new team. The team is anxious given the change in management. What two things can you do to settle the team? The answers, hold one-on-one -on -one meetings to understand each team member better and conduct a team meeting to share your vision and direction. Question 41. You just got promoted to a manager role. As a first step, you set up individual meetings with each team member to understand their goals, motivations, and skills. What are two reasons why this step is important? The answers are, to establish trust with them and to get to know them better. Question 42. You are coaching a technical architect on your team to communicate effectively with a non-technical audience. Which strategies would you recommend? The answer is, use analogies and relatable examples. Question 43. You just promoted a team member to a team lead position. Even though they know everyone on the team well, you ask them to set up a meeting with each team member. What is the main purpose of these meetings? The answer is, to get to know team members as direct reports. Question 44. Your organization has grown rapidly, and as a result all businesses want the IT team's attention. The chief architect is no longer able to attend all meetings. Who is the best person to attend meetings in their stead? The answer is, lead architect. Question 45. Why is it important to hire for complementary skills rather than focusing solely on technical competency? The answer is, complementary skills help fill the gaps in the team's capabilities. Question 46. You lead a centralized IT department in a large organization with multiple business units. Which role in your team will be responsible for aligning IT priorities with different business units? The answer is, business information officer. Question 47. Your project team is conducting brainstorming sessions to define problems and gather input from various stakeholders. You notice that some team members dominate discussions and others remain quiet. How can you address this issue and promote equal participation? The answer is, rotate the agenda topic by topic and hear from everyone in the team meetings. Question 48. You are an IT leader of a large company with multiple business units. You recently heard about the friction between one of your IT leads and a business lead who are working together on a strategic initiative. How can you help them align? The answer is, facilitate a discussion between the leads to help them converge on the initiative's goal. Question 49. Due to a recent reorganization, your team goals were revised. How will you assess if your team has the right skill set to execute on new goals? The answer is, Conduct a skills gap analysis. Question 50. Select three reasons why it is important for an IT leader to gather strategic input from various departments. The answers are for optimal resource utilization, to ensure there is no redundancy of technology investments, and to prioritize projects. Congratulations! 
you have successfully passed the exam. That's all from this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Comment below on which exam questions you want to be posted next. Thanks for watching.